Alice Little, Mr. Radcliffe. Ah, oh, you're back. I suppose you better come up. Mind the latch. You do have my rabbit. Forgotten your manners? What else, I wonder? You abandoned it at Rutledge Asylum, my dear. We've been over this before. In a huff as usual, oozing with attitude and accusatory flummery, I've stolen her rabbit. Ridiculous pretext. She's here about the fire again. All the mad child wants to talk about. My report found her family dead by misadventure. She won't accept it. It goes on and on about her killing memories and her need to know the truth. The alleged truth is the fire began in the library when the cat knocked over a lamp. The blaze trapped her parents and sister upstairs. Sister Lizzie never even unlocked her door. Died in her bed. The guilty cat always sets her off. She denies it. Makes no sense. It can't be, etc. Agreed. From the outset, Alice was my candidate for the pyromania. The girl had a fixation with fire. And I once remarked that I thought she might have had a larger role in causing the tragedy. Except some sort of psychotic episode. Did I rip his head off? I wanted to. What's left of my brain will explode. Is it mad to pray for better hallucinations? Perhaps I'm fated to expire right here. Ruin! It's corrupting all of Wonderland! Seeking refuge from the wicked world? Perhaps things only look like they've gone to hell. You're not that good a liar, and I'm not that stupid. But something a bit less calamitous would have been welcome. This unmitigated disaster is your doing, and it will get worse. Your train keeps a hellish schedule. Get moving. Time waits for no one. The change has begun. The train is perfectly capable of terrifying me, Cat. You should find another job. Is there really so little hope? There's even less, and if fear paralyzes you, we are lost.
journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. A single step off London Bridge could end my journey. Failure was your epitaph. Uh, I'd hoped you were more courageous. 